Hi guys, Agent Zero One here, and welcome to another tutorial. Uh, this tutorial is going to be how to make rock paper scissors in Python. It's quite simple, nothing special, but yes. So before we start, let me just show you how this works. So, let's pick rock. The readout of who picked tells you who wins, adds a score, and then it asks you if you want to play again. Do that, and then we'll just show you with paper. Oh, lucky us. With scissors. Okay, so that's the base game. I'm sure you all know how to play it. So yeah, let's get into the coding. Thank you. So what we're going to do first is we are going to create a new Python file, like the one you see here. And then we need to get the random to add the random element with the computer picking which score. So from random, we are going to import randint, which is random integer. So that will pick any from a range. So if I said like Ran oh no, random one to ten. It would pick a random number between one and ten. So what we're going to do then is we're going to have a while loop so the game can be played multiple times, and then we're going to ask the user which one to pick. So which one from rock, paper, or scissors? Go. There you go. Sorry. Now before we do anything else, we're just going to check that um. They actually did type up rock paper scissors, so we're going to do if user underscore input. Actually, yeah, if, if user underscore input equals rock or user underscore input is paper or user underscore input is scissors, then we're going to run the game. Else, you did not pick one of oh god, one of the available options. Okay. Oh yeah, and we also need just under here to get our number. So we're going to do this is going to be used for rock paper or scissors for the computer. So we're going to do number equals randint, which we imported above zero to two. So we got we imported that here. And then we're using it here to pick a random number that could be 0, 1, or 2. Now, here, we just need to set up the number being what pay processes. So, random will be what the computer is. So all this is doing is if this number is 0, random will be set to rock, if this is 1, random will be set to paper, and if this is 1, random will 2, sorry, random will be set to scissors. So it will pick rock, paper, or scissors. So now what we need to do is tell them what both people picked, so you get that kind of sense of it being a game. So print you picked, you don't score input. And computer, oop, computer picked random. There you go. And then we're just going to save it before we do anything else in case we lose it. So just do control S. So there we go. We saved it on our desktop as what paper scissors example. And now we are going to tell them we're going to do the logic. So if you set underscore input equals random, so they're the same. Print because obviously they're both be wrong or both pieces. Hello. So here we're saying we're going to do the three for the user winning. So if the user picks scissors and the computer picks paper, then the user will win. Computer picked scissors. And if the user picked ooh, paper and the computer picked 
Ja. Otherwise, these were the win conditions. So we know that if the user didn't win, the computer must have won. So if none of that happened, we can just print computer wins. So this is our logic, and all we're doing is we're saying if they're the same, no one wins. If the user wins, then, well, it'll just print user wins for now, but we'll add some scoring in a minute. Otherwise, the computer must have won. So it's getting that. But now what we need to do is we need to add the scores in. So up here. Then, after this, we're going to print your scorers and then player score. Computer score is computer score. And then, what we need to do is we need to increment it. So every time the if the user won player score but plus equals means it's equal to itself plus I will do one so what you could do instead would be player score equals player score plus one Ooh, sorry. Oh god. but that takes a lot longer you can see so this this these being the same thing so cut that out and just do the same for all the win conditions for the user Otherwise, computer one. And we need nothing here because this is for nobody winning, so the scores will stay the same. And the final thing we need to do in our program is this. So, we've got to set the. So, this is going to ask them if they want to play again. And to say y slash n for yes or no. And we're going to say if again is equal to no. Break. And in fact we could just put some chat here like thanks for playing. And what this will do is it will break out the loop. So this code won't run again. Or if the user said yes. We'll just print a space. And uh, that will mean that the code looks neat for the next line when this code starts again. Else, it's just going to assume you wanted to play it again because they didn't type Y or N. So, did not pick. Oh no, this also needs to print the space just to make it look tidy. So there we go, that's the code. So thank you very much. Thank you very much for watching, sorry, and we will see you later. And yeah, hopefully it works and hopefully you enjoy it. Thank you. Actually, one last mistake before we end this video. I just missed the equal sign here. And there we go. So thank you and we will see you later.